Here we go, friends and family. <laughs> so we're heading to Deception Valley. In 2021, we had an incredible adventure overlanding Botswana in our Suzuki Jimny. In part two, we spent five nights camping in the Central Kalahari Game Reserve. Okay, Central Kalahari Safari. The drive from Matsueri Gate is roughly 40 kilometers. It's heavily corrugated and it took us around two hours to get to our campsite. We arrived at Cory Camp with the sun setting and after a long, hot day, we put up our tent at record speed and decided to call it a night. Getting cold, scared, <laughs> ready for bed. Yeah. We fell asleep to the sounds of barking geckos, excited to wake up and enjoy our first full day in the park. The Central Kalahari Game Reserve, or as it's more fondly known, the CKGR, is the largest, most remotely situated reserve in Southern Africa. The reserve is an incredible 52,800 square kilometers, and a lot of the time you really feel like you have the whole place to yourself. We stayed in Cory Camp Number 4 in the Deception Valley, situated in the northern part of the reserve. The area around Deception Valley is made up of grasslands, dense bush and open plains, perfect for predators like cheetah, leopard, wild dog and lion. The area also provides the perfect grazing for a variety of antelope and other prey species. These are our facilities. <laughs> have a bucket shower so you have to bring all your own water and you put your water in there and then there's a little shower nozzle at the bottom and then this which is Andrew's favorite the latrine Ugh. We don't like it in here. <laughs> and at night, we've got a little pair of barn owls that use these as hunting posts. The bird life in the CKGR was incredible, and we just loved relaxing in our campsite watching the white browed sparrow weavers and the crimson breasted shrikes. We also shared our campsite with a family of ground squirrels, who were very entertaining. So we're just at Sunday pan waterhole. Decided to stop here for a bit, have some coffee, see if anything interesting comes down to drink. It's very hot.
<laughs> so we've been driving around for hours. We've been lucky today. It's now just after two, and we're here on deception pan. And lo and behold, here is a male lion just been, waiting for yeah. us. We've been seeing so many lion shaped logs, and then this one turned out to be a lion. What's under the tree over there? So, <laughs> while we were looking at the lone male lying in the tree over there, um, we didn't notice that the rest of the pride was right behind us. <laughs> There's two females, they've just put their heads down now, and here's the other male. Oh, look at them. You would never say there's a whole pride of lions under there. Yeah, flip. Let alone a massive male lion. There she is. They're in amazing condition, huh? Absolutely amazing condition. In the best possible place to be today. Yeah. Nice cold shade. There's the cubs. I think they're um nursing. With our lions, just in a casual pygmy falcon. Just hanging. I mean, it might not even be a pygmy falcon, but you know. Some sort of bird of prey. Yeah. <laughs> Lesser spotted, meat eating bird. in the Kruger, but we're in the CKGR. We're there at number two, Cory Camp, and we saw the lions today. Over there. At Deception Pan. Yeah. close by last night roaring um, and then even closer at about five this morning um, so hopefully we can go and find them now and um, we heard what also sounded like a brown hyena and um, so if we don't find anything we're going to go back to deception pan and see if we can see our um, male lions and the female lions and the cubs the grass is so long, it's literally coming up to like the window. Yes, I have spotted something. Ooh, what did you spot? So we found the lions that made all the noise last night. We think it's the two males we saw yesterday. Yeah. Without the females and cubs. They're just sitting under the trees over there. They played an oryx kill. Yeah. There's also two little pygmy falcons flying around. It's super cool. So the oryx kill is over there. And they've pretty much eaten half of it. <laughs> so we're gonna, I think, come back here over the next few days and just 
Crow. So it turns out Hem's book that they killed was a mom and heavily pregnant and that Mr. Lion over there is eating the fetus. <laughs> Kalahari Sunset <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, hey. What a fantastic day. We uh, hung out with the lions for most of it. We also spent a good time here in the camp. And really, really love Central Kalahari. Specifically, obviously, we only really know Cory Camp. But um, I'd uh, highly recommend coming here. Um, it's magic. Hello there. It's lion time. <laughs> it's cold. Much colder than we thought it would get here. But that doesn't mean that we stay in bed. We're going back to um, Deception Valley where we saw the lions yesterday. They've been roaring all night. There's been jackal action, what we think might even be black brown hyena. And hopefully we um, catch them now. Our neighbors have gone ahead already, so hopefully we see them and we see the lions. Yeah. Jimothy, are you ready? Let's go. Mr. Arks, good morning. Morning. We're up and we're half asleep. 
but we are gonna go see if there's any more action at the lime kill because it's so close we might as well so we made a quick coffee packed up the tent and yeah now we're on the road So this is our fourth day yeah. in CKGR. We're driving down Kalahari Plains Road, looking for the lions. They definitely moved off from the kill last night or early this morning. We heard them roaring from this direction somewhere. So we're just taking a slow bumble, hoping that we find them. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hopefully today will be a cheetah day as well. And then tomorrow is our last day here. Four by four! This is really cool. Yeah. I'm really over it though. <laughs> This is our first giraffe in the CKGR. Just the top of his head. So the lion kill is somewhere over there. That's where we were this morning. We decided to make some toasties for lunch. We're putting some cheese on. Andrew's gonna have a steak toasty with the fire going down there. Fry brookies, a little bit of gin, nice afternoon. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fry brickies and coleslaw. Jimothy only has a 40 litre tank. So before we left, we had Graham from African Sky Adventures refit our rooftop tent so that we could carry two extra 20 litre jerry cans on the roof rack. Even though we have a limited range, Jimneys are incredibly fuel efficient. And after four days driving around the CKGR, it was time for us to refuel. After a few mishaps, we finally got the hang of the gravity pump and emptied both 20 litre jerry cans into the tank. We washed up and decided to head out for a sunset drive. Hello there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're just waiting for these barn owls to arrive, try and get a shot of them, but the second they arrive, they fly away. Here we go. 
Ah, oh, there he is. Good morning. So we are about to leave to go and find those cheetah that we saw last night. Hopefully they're still in the same area. We only got a brief glimpse of them very far away last night. So we're hoping, because it's still quite cool, that they'll be out and about walking around on the plains there. Oh, it's about... It's exactly eight. It's exactly eight o'clock. <laughs> we had a nice slow morning. Had some coffee, enjoyed the campsite for a bit. And yeah, now we're gonna go for a little bumble around the plains. <laughs> hey, just some gangster rap in the morning. Why not? <laughs> So, we found our cheetah, <laughs> but again, they are very far away. We can only see one, but the rest are probably flat catting. We thought we'd have a little drink here. Got a little gin and tonic. <laughs> right there. Mm. Yeah, a nice little gin and tonic. And we're just gonna chill here for a bit and hopefully they get up and do a bit of a stretch or walk around or something. So that's our uh, route for tomorrow. And as you can see, we've been traveling around the northern part of the central Kalahari. Um, we haven't even gone even further than this area over here. That little marker there is us. Yeah. I didn't think I was going to last five days, yeah? <laughs> the day we arrived, we got here pretty late, so it was the sun was setting while we were busy setting up our camp. And obviously we'd never been here before, so we don't know, we didn't know the vibe. Mm. So we were very nervous setting up our tent, and as soon as it got dark, we were in our tent. Um, we even had dinner inside our tent. <laughs> now we're feeling a, a lot more relaxed. Um, I mean, last night we were standing out in the dark trying to take a photo of a little of our little barn owl friend we got a very bad photo but we got a photo yeah i mean in our campsite we, we we've had scrub hair we've had spring hair spring hair we saw a spring hair from our tent we were shining the torch out the little window and we just saw these eyes and then he just hopped past like a little kangaroo it was the cutest thing and then we saw his tracks everywhere we sat with our family of cheetah for the better part of the day and enjoyed some other super special sightings while we waited for our spotted friends to get active. I'm so glad you're getting to see one of these because you've never seen one. No. Oh, his tails are right in the air now. <gasps> he caught. He just let. Oh my god! I got. I got um, him jumping up and trying to grab a little bird. I think I'm, he might have got something. got a little mouse or something. After six hours, our patience paid off. And as the sun started setting, the three cheetah moved towards us and we were rewarded with an incredible sighting.
cheetah have spotted the African wildcat? Oh my gosh, there's three African wildcats. Now, and in the middle there is an African wildcat. We, it really paid off us staying there the whole day because eventually those cheetah moved, they came towards us and we got the most incredible scene of them running across the road chasing a pair or three African wildcats. What's this in the road here? Jackal. Jackal, Ah, oh, hey buddy. Check him out. <laughs> so <laughs> it's a bit scary we're not going to bry or anything tonight because we're a bit late unfortunately we stayed with the cheetah too long um but we're leaving super early tomorrow morning so we're just getting all our stuff we've been storing it in the shower but at night our little owl friends come and poop all over everything so we just wanted to move it and have it all ready so that tomorrow morning we can just pack and go. Look at Jimothy there. Oh, Jimothy. <laughs> what a beaut. Hey, night one we wouldn't have done that. No, <laughs> we're a bit braver on night five. <laughs> I see the party bag made it like that. Yeah, <laughs> that's dinner tonight. <laughs> Doritos. You can, you can sleep outside here. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, nice. Ice, ice cold, cold water. Oh, nice. Two Literally minutes. six and a half hours, and they they moved for about twenty minutes. <laughs> we got some nice footage for about twenty minutes. Two liters of game and a whole lot of gin and tonics. <laughs> right. Perfect way to spend our last evening. Central Kalahari. <laughs> what a win. What a win. I think there's a moth on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> We absolutely loved our time in the CKGR. It really is a magical place. And even though we were sad to be leaving, we were super excited for the next part of our adventure. Hey, and that's it for CKGR. I'll be very honest, I am so stoked to be off of that road. <laughs> that road from basically our campsite to Mashwari Gate mm. is not great. No. 40 k's of corrugation, it pretty took much. Us one and a half, almost one and a half hours. Yeah. To do 40 k's. <laughs> but now we're just going to go and update the sightings board with all our amazing sightings. Check out. Check out. And then it's off to Mound to go and oh. stay at Audi Camp for a little bit for tonight. And then tomorrow off to Kwai, Kwai Magato campsite. Ha <laughs> ha
After leaving the CKGR, we made our way north along the cut line and headed to Maun to spend a night at Audi camp and relax before driving further north into quiet. Never in my life have I been so stoked to see a pothole tar road. So this is where we're staying tonight. Got a nice little tented um, accommodation at Audi camp. So after five days of camping in the CKGR, we have nice little beds, toilets <laughs> that haven't been spoiled by the people that were there before us. <laughs> this is our little private deck. This is lovely here. Hey, how so tough are you about? Yeah, I'm so stoked to be here. <laughs> so yeah. the sun setting over the Tamalekana River, <laughs> and we're just about to go up to the restaurant to go have dinner. Managed to get some signal over here. Oh, it's lovely here. We're here for one night before we set off to Kwai tomorrow, Kwai Magoto. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat a really nice meal at the restaurant. Very excited about that. Next time on Jimothy and Friends, we leave Maun and make our way to Kwai. We get a bit lost in the Okavango. We find our elephants and we have a really special sighting.